For problem number 3, a simply supported rectangular beam 2 inches wide by 4 inches in deep carries a uniformly distributed load of 80 pounds per foot over its entire length. So what is the maximum length of one beam if the flexural stress is limited to 3000 PSI? And sabi, for problem number 3, under bending stress or stresses in beams, so we have a beam, a simply supported beam, simply supported beam carries a uniformly distributed load equivalent to 80 pound per feet. Then next, so the rectangular beam is 2 inches wide and 4 inches in deep. So determine the, what is, determine the maximum length of the beam. L, if the flexural stress is limited to 3000 PSI or pounds per inches squared. So, ayan. Punta naman tayo sa okay. Punta tayo sa English system. Tingnan lang, ang doobat. Tignan natin. Close. So, ayan. So, formula for bending stress, FB is equivalent to MC divided by I. So, same procedures pa rin, where M is the moment, then C, value natin, is simply half of the rectangle, or half of the depth of the rectangle, which is 2, and I is the moment of the inertia. Then, next. So, next. Calculator. So next, compute na natin value of L. So to compute for the value of L, so syempre, kailangan natin ng moment. Since given naman yung C natin, C natin is equivalent to 2, and I is equivalent to BH cube divided by 12. So ito muna compute natin. So 2 times 4 cube, 4 times 4 is 64 times 2 divided by 12. So, 10.667 uh, meters to the fourth, or inches pala to. Inches to the fourth. So, ayan. O yun C, o yun yung I, o yun na din yung FB. So, moment na lang. So, to determine for the moment, so, wala naman tayo yung value of L. So, pero, alam natin na kapag meron tayong uniformly distributed load, so, yung reaction yan is kalahati lang lagi. So, ito, R2 is equivalent to 40 times L. And R1 is equivalent also to 40 times L. So, pag pinag-add mo yan, so equivalent yan sa 80 pound per foot. Then, next. So, next step naman, so, draw na natin shear and moment diagram. So, shear diagram and moment diagram. So, for the shear diagram, so we all know that yung shear diagram natin is laging ganito kapag uniformly distributed load. And yung moment diagram naman natin, so, alam naman natin lagi na malungkot lagi yung moment diagram for uniformly distributed load. And yung maximum moment natin, so, nakaloit lagi siya sa gitna. So, ito yon So, tawagin natin siya ang distance L divided by 2 and yung abila L divided by 2. So, ito yung ating maximum moment. So, na-allocate siya sa L divided by 2. Kung kahit hindi na natin isolve yan, lagi naman ganyan yung kalalabasan kapag uniformly distributed load. Then, next, so, ilan ba yung value natin dito for shear diagram? So, kung ito is 40L, so, syempre, ito, 40L din yan. Kung ito is 40L, so, syempre, ito, negative 40L yan. So, tama, di ba? 
the next so ito na yung kailangan natin uh, kunan ng value so ayan so to determine for the uh, equation here for the maximum moment so solve na lang natin so summation of moment at mid span so ayan so pwede nyo itong gamitin mga formulas na to or derived formulas kapag nakita kayo na uniformly distributed load so 40L times L over 2 minus 80 times ito lang yun diba L over 2 times L over 2 divided by 2 which is L over 4 L over 2 times L squared over 4 so ayan so ito magiging 20 L squared minus so ito ilan to minus 80 uh, aha L, L tama ba 80 times L over 2 pala to, diba? Times, ito, malita. L over 2, L over 2 divided by 2. So, ayan. So, ito, magiging 2 times 2, so 4 times 2, 8. So, ito, magiging 10 L squared. Then, next, so simplifying, so itong maximum moment, at mid span is 10 L squared. So, ibig sabihin, ang equation dito sa gitna, equivalent to 10 L squared. So, ayan. Ayan yung maximum moment natin. Maximum moment equation. Then, pasok na lang natin sa formula natin. So, FB equivalent to dito na lang. So, FB equivalent to MC divided by I. So, FB natin is 3,000 pounds per inch squared equivalent to M. So, M is 10 M is equivalent to 10 L squared. However, yung L dito naka-fit pa yan. So, times natin sa 12 para ma-convert natin into inches. Then, next so, times C. So, yan yung value natin for C. So, C is equivalent to 2 and I is 10.667 so, 2 divided by 10.667. So, ayan. So, ilan yung ating length? So, for length, so, calculate natin. So, 3,000 times 10.667. 3,000 times 10.667 divided by 10, divided by 12, divided by 2, square root. So, square root of 133.3375. So, solve ko na lang. So, solve nyo na lang sa scientific calculator. So, wala pa lang square root to. Mano-mano lang to. So, ayan. Square root of 133.3375. Ah, meron pala. Galing. Meron pala. Square root of, ano yun? Square root of 3375. Ito siguro yan. Tayo nga natin. Hindi. Hindi yun. Square root. Ah, ito. Ilan yun? 3,000 times then 10.667 divided by 10 divided by 12 divided by 2 133.3375 ito siguro yan yun 11.547 inches or inches pa pa na naging inches inches ito inches inches then ito pala is na a uh, Inonvert pa na natin siya, no? So, foot dapat to. Foot. So, 11.547 feet. Ayan. So, that's all for problem number 3.